This is an investigative video about the life and death of Levi Stubbs. The legend was a lead singer of Four Tops. Levi Stubbs was one of the most charismatic and influential performers of his time, and his voice touched the hearts of millions of fans around the world. However, his life was not without its share of struggles and challenges, and his tragic death left a lasting impact on the music industry. So, let's dive into the life and times of Levi Stubbs. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more such videos. Early Life Levi Stubbs was born on June 6, 1936, in Detroit, Michigan. He grew up in a musical family and was exposed to gospel music at an early age. He formed his first singing group, The Four Ames, with his friends in high school, which later became The Four Tops after signing with Motown Records. With his powerful and soulful voice, Levi became the lead singer of the group and quickly gained a reputation as one of the best performers in the industry. Career Highlights The Four Tops signed with Motown Records in 1963 and quickly rose to fame with hits like, Baby I Need Your Loving, and, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. Stubbs' powerful, soulful voice was a defining element of the group's sound, and he quickly became one of the most recognizable voices in popular music. Over the course of his career with the Four Tops, Stubbs continued to deliver hit after hit, including Bernadette, Reach Out I'll Be There, and Standing in the Shadows of Love. His voice was characterized by its rich, deep tone and its ability to convey emotion and passion in every note. In addition to his work with the Four Tops, Stubbs also lent his voice to a number of other musical projects. He provided the voice of Audrey II, the villainous plant in the movie musical, Little Shop of Horrors, and he also recorded music for films like Cooley High and The Last Dragon. Challenges Levi Stubbs' success in the music industry was not without its challenges. He struggled with addiction throughout his life and had a reputation for being difficult to work with at times. However, his talent and charisma always shone through, and he remained one of the most respected and admired performers in the industry. Levi also faced discrimination and racism during his career. In the 1960s, the Four Tops were scheduled to perform in a segregated venue in Alabama. Levi refused to perform unless the venue was integrated, and the group was able to make history by being the first black performers to play in front of an integrated audience in the state. Death Sadly, Levi Stubbs passed away on October 17, 2008, at the age of 72. He had been suffering from various health issues, including cancer and a stroke. His death was a great loss to the music industry, and fans around the world mourned the passing of one of their favorite performers. He was survived by his wife of over 40 years, Clinus, and their five children. Legacy The four tops were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1990, and Stubbs was inducted into the Michigan Rock and Roll Legends Hall of Fame in 2013. In addition to his many accolades, Stubbs' influence can be heard in the music of artists like Michael Jackson, Phil Collins, and Stevie Wonder. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content.